Not sure how much time I have left here, but let's give it a shot. Let's have a drink. The Drink of Champions here on my channel. Now that I'm at the sponsor part of my day, I've run out of other things to talk about. But to reiterate, I think I said some pretty cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying not to stare at people. It's so hard not to stare at people when you're worried that they're staring at you. It's like, it's the impossible dream. It's the ecstasy and the agony. <laughs> it's like, all mixed into one. I'm just going to say I'm thankful for this day. The Eagles uh, have communicated to me, I think, but I'm also, I take any blame if I fail to communicate properly very nourishing, I believe, for my heart's effects of stilling myself whenever they're talking in a way that I also seem to come about to some understanding about that they're talking as they are here and feeding and nourishing themselves is also of a very nourishing nature to me <clears throat> and potentially to other people as well. Uh, perhaps people who have lived here for thousands of years, we can only imagine. <laughs> See how I can be white and sarcastic and respectful to the indigenous people all at the same time because of the eagle people <laughs> helping me with my heart okay so there you go i'm only here in my mom has got the cable back i think any everything that i've needed and i have needed a lot up until like five minutes ago like a tremendous amount i don't i can't even begin to go into in my family which is some warmth and love and assurance as to the safety of my heart and my mother against any and all petitions uh, that she's had to pay for and any other petitions because of some relenting in her ability to completely silently pay for them. <laughs> As with us all or anyone else, and all meant that. Just let it, let us be angry and scream and enjoy the dream as we all deserve once again. <laughs> and that is all I need further say about that. Also, this lighter is green. Um, does anyone else like green lighters? It sort of is a good green. It's a healthy green. It's Kermit the Frog green. I made up a very tasteless song about Kermit the Frog before I started making this, uh, which is, you know, best left unsaid. <laughs> I just get crude sometimes, and it's like, it is a beautiful song that he sings. There's a bit of a kayaker out here. It's nice. Maybe they're in a different realm. They're above water. They have different concerns. The tide, I think, may be coming in. Someone must have built a fire there. He's been working on his property. I'm trying not to bother him. I think he likes his space. I mean, who doesn't, right? I this this guy m m makes me want to go through everything I go through with every other homeowner to be respectful to him and anyone working on his property because I think he's just a complete dude. And he built himself some stairs during COVID against the ravaging um, Sailor Sea slash Pacific Ocean um, that has its king tides and its winter tides. And it is a very daunting task for anyone I'm sure has ever built a lighthouse or anything close to the seas of the Atlantic or the Pacific. So really, and just, I think, just uh, redoing a kind of foundation or mortar right where you step down because that's where it takes the most naked and uh, hydrologically difficult blows because like, you know, that's why if you go to sea places like how stones near the sea or stairs of all kind of succumb, like that's where the sea gets you, man, right down low. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've been doing some wooden forms and stuff and I don't know really much more than that. Doing real work, man's work, woman's work. If you say it's woman's work, it sounds bad. If you say it's man's work, it sounds good, but still slightly sexist. So man's work, but only woman's work if woman wants to do it and can. Otherwise, let the man do it. <laughs> I don't like any of that man's work, woman's work, because in any sense, it might mean that someone thinks that I have to do something. <laughs> so better be anyone else's work but mine. That's what I say. <laughs> anyone else who wants to do it, do it. If the women want to do it, if the men, if the children, you know. Hey, let the people traveling through do it, in return for which I will sit them down and 
tell them stories about my ancestors. Why shouldn't people have been able to travel through like Santa Claus our neighborhood and stop and we would give them our hospitality and we would share our stories and they would share theirs and I'd be like, wow, my mom and dad have cool stories to tell and this traveler has nice stories to tell and we could all just be like one, like move and live and habitate and travel like instead of having these B&Bs. What about like every traveler and every teacher and every home could somehow intersect without anyone molesting anyone? That's the goal of the 21st century, because that provides me, the potential traveler, and probably not a very good lodger, anyway, uh, or a hospitable lodger, but you know, uh, safe, I wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't want to really travel and depend on the hospitality of strangers. People do it every day, <laughs> it's like, you know. I, to be fair, I haven't traveled very far outside these walls, so. And you need to do that, you know. I think in a lot of a lot of places in the world, this is, you, you know, people who travel benefit come back. You got to get away for a few days, a few months, a few years, let everything sort of air off, you know, <laughs> and come back. It's like because you're, if you're full steam in this town every day, and you don't just go out of it. It's like, you know, at some point, I think it's like you should be given, you know, some kind of special consideration. It's like someone who goes into an infrared sauna and a steam bath at the same time and stays in there for like 13 years. <laughs> it's, it's some kind of, you know, you might come out a little raw and red and a little bitter and, you know, boring, but uh, you've still done something. At least you're nothing else, you're well done. <laughs> you're being silly. Don't be silly, Billy. You're silly, Billy. Uh, you know, silly billy goat. Are you a silly billy goat? Remember this very upset white woman who was staying in my beach cottage for free, basically, I invited two of her gay friends, two local coffee owners, coffee shop owners, and well, to put it lightly, they didn't seem to like me very much, or my home, uh, but they enjoyed her home and her and her hospitality <laughs> while I sat at my own table. It was like, and I was just like. It should have been like a song from Mary Poppins. Hey, mate, what do you know? My father always said to listen to my art. Got to breathe until you can roll with the golden showers from every bark. Boom, 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 boom. The eagle sort of said to me, the heart has to be nourished and you have to be able to breathe if you're going to fly like the eagle. In other words, you have to clear your breath, or to me, clean my blood. Clean my blood, and then, yeah, you will have a better experience of eagles, and you too will fly a little closer to eagles, because, you know, there's always something to learn. Be of good heart, my father told me, his mother taught me. My grandmother, Griffin, that was the one thing, the most positive thing my father ever taught me. Have a good heart. And that's what I've tried to do today. And I thank my father for that. And I found a good father stone, and the beach was very good to me. And I was thinking about some difficult things about my mother, and I got a text from her, and she's happy, and that's what matters. I go through my own trials. For my mother's sake, and I talk about like how times in my life as a deontological thinker, you would say I kind of fall on my sword, but I don't. I plant a sword in my own heart, just like the mother does, so that life can grow. <coughs> and as necessary, start to grow back. You know, I guess I'm sure there's things in my life that I've done that might be called stabbing myself in the heart. <coughs> And not once, though I am kept up many a night with such worries and thoughts and threats. Never the regret of doing something that was right. And is still right. And will always be right. When it comes to protecting certain things and certain people from the unfortunate, yes, the unfortunate grit and grind of 
the world that permits many things that, uh, that must be permitted. And uh, no one likes anyone to raise a voice when they can't fall in step and do so, because it wouldn't be nice if you did that. It wouldn't be nice if no one called us on any of our mistakes. What would happen then? And out here, I can always be sure that the universe, or that mind we all share in some way, will call me on any and all of my shortcomings. I gotta go. There's two white girls out there. That's my cue to leave. So, there we go. Thank you for listening. I will enjoy no better redoubts but that I have enjoyed the prospect of sharing these labors with those who might appreciate them as much as I feel I should.